Did you ever speak to Chris Rock after the slap? Because uh, he's your mate. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have been straight on the phone if it was my mate getting no, slapped. No, but going, I was what? I was in a sticky situation because I was actually, you know, an elected official of the union at the time. Oh. Will Smith is a twat. Oh, I liked him. He, Will Smith has been hiding the fact of who he really is, and it was exposed that night. That he's really an asshole. But he's a d- deep, d- dark d- thing. To do that in front of all those people and to a really great, legendary comedian who's pr- literally the best comedian of our generation. Sure. You wouldn't have, like, uh, this whole wave of comedy that came after if it wasn't for Chris Rock. He's kicked open the doors. Well, so for him to do that, but I wasn't allowed to say anything at that time because we were part of the committee right. that was supposed to punish him. And how do you punish wow, him? Wow, wow, wait, wait. Just back up a second. <laughs> Hang on. I want to know Will what Will Smith is. is like, for me, when I met him, right, I, I always like say... Like the nicest, yes. most wonderful. He's a yeah. liar. Complete, utter fraud. Really? It was exposed in that time. Okay, we all thought in that time, oh, he was under all this pressure, though. I didn't. Was some, I it was a I've been under pressure. Oh, well, Kyle, right. Kyle's you know been under pressure. You've been under pressure. Interesting you say that about no, Will. No, no, Will is a, is a douchebag, and that that's something that you can't. The thing is, that's how politically correct the Academy is, right. that they were so cowardly. Because if I would have done that, they would have been hauled out to prison because like, they were so worried about being you know, racist or whatever. They were like, we can't be. The, the point is, violence is what it is, and whether who, what the color of your skin or the, your, you know, your religion doesn't sure, matter. Sure. If you commit a crime in front of other people, you get hauled out of there. Yeah, but didn't you also sort of think, oh, he's standing up for his missus? You didn't like that? It doesn't matter. You can't hit another dude. If he's standing up for your missus, it's a joke. And, like, I, I, I also thought it was a very mild joke. And it was uh, that Quite a slap, there. though, right? Quite a, quite a slap. It, I mean, it was so much. I mean, I literally was, I forget what it was because I wasn't watching it. I was in Mexico directing a film. Mm. and my That uh, sounds sus. Yeah, <laughs> my wife wrote it. Yeah, yeah. It's called good. "Amores de Amor," and it's a nice movie actually. But the um, in Spanish, in español, por supuesto. And but the thing was, I was in a car, and my the the uh, but the, my assistant director, she looked at me and she said, uh, "He looked." And she said, I, "I." She said, "What happened?" He said, um, "Chris Rock just got slapped by Will Smith." And I said, "Get out of here! It didn't happen." I didn't make the phone calls, and it did happen. Wow. He didn't want to talk to anybody. I don't blame him. Yeah, I get that. You know, but but also like it took him a while to get to to point where he could react to it because it was a lot. It you got to process that stuff, right? Yeah, and he's a very sensitive, great guy, and he's really literally a genius.